Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, July 20th, 2011, and I'm Darko. Uh, GGNonline.com is my website, www.ggnonline.com, and uh, on YouTube, my channel is ddarko2012. Um, also, you can check out Global Government News on Facebook. Uh, in the video description on YouTube, uh, I usually have a link there, along with most of the links uh, or headlines and stories that I cover and the order that they're covered. So, it says here, would you uh, consent to entering an airport body scanner now that an image is, quote, no longer produced? And it says here, no, uh, yes, neither, or not sure. So check that out. I have plenty of interesting articles here in this last video. So Celtic fan Michael Bailey admits sectarian abuse. A Celtic fan has admitted posting uh, sectarian and racist comments on uh Facebook after being caught during a police crackdown on internet bigots. It says here, uh, this 20-year-old from Glasgow left the messages on his social networking site in a group called, quote, uh, Neil Lennon should be banned. And on his own page, he was caught after a police task force uh, began reviewing internet sites after March's so-called old firm shame game. So and the sad part about this, I think, is... Um, it's all over a, a, a basically a gladiator thing, a gladiator sport and sports, you know, a distraction uh, for the hoopals, the hoople heads, as uh, Swearinger from Deadwood puts it. Um, but, uh, you know, it always sets the precedence. You can uh, uh, be a tribalist or something and uh, or a racist and um, you say something, all of a sudden you're being detained by, quote, a task force. That's right. All police forces are task force now, uh, police being militarized. And it's interesting, I just want to make this point real quick, is that uh, uh, it looks almost as if the police force is going to actually be uh, increased and the military scaled down, a, 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 you know, basically a little bit, uh, maybe even significantly. Now, my theory for this and in my uh, other people's theories that I've uh, talked to uh, was uh, basically this. The police swear an oath to the brotherhood, to the fraternal order of police. And so that's why they always protect each other. Now, in the military, they try to do that. But uh, in the military, it only matters if you're, of course, what a higher up. Otherwise, you're going to get fried and made an example in the military. That's the way it works in the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So, And uh, the other thing, too, is that the troops swear an oath to the Constitution. And uh, I, I don't believe the police force actually does that. Uh, and they, they really don't enforce the Constitution anyways. It says here, judge orders videotaping of execution. Judge in Georgia has issued an extraordinary order. It says here, permitting the execution of a convict, uh, basically convicted of triple murder, to be videotaped. So great. Uh, make a big spectacle out of that. It says here, just like that trial with that woman that, uh, that uh, I guess, killed her baby. And then uh, you have all these people uh, being susceptible to the vigilante programming. And... Um, going out there running people off the road that look like her and uh, it's all based off what well uh, she probably was guilty and there was no evidence and you know obviously i didn't agree with that type system where uh you know it doesn't matter what you know it only matters what you can prove because it benefits well scumbags usually um but my point is the whole purpose of that uh, uh, charade like the oj simpson trial uh, was to basically um show people get people to think uh, that you are guilty until you're proven innocent. So basically what I'm saying is, uh, by, by basically, uh, by giving a verdict of not guilty when everybody had a feeling that she was guilty, uh, just goes to show the hoopals that, uh, that it doesn't really matter because either situation really just sucks. Uh, next up, we have CIA's DARPA working on human brain uh, mimicking technology company that built the first Internet node hired. And um, you can go back there and check that out. I just want to cover this real quick. Police to begin iPhone iris scans amid privacy concerns. And it says here dozens of police departments nationwide are gearing up to use a tech company's already controversial iris and facial scanning devices that slides over an iPhone and helps identify a person or track criminal suspects. So... 
go in there and uh, check that out. Next up, we have CERN gags physicist and cosmic ray climate experiment. And it says, what do these results mean? Not allowed to tell you. So the chief of the world's leading physics lab, CERN in Geneva, has prohibited scientists from drawing conclusions from a major experiment. The cloud cosmic or cosmics leaving outdoor droplets experiment examines the role that energetic particles from deep space play in cloud formation. Cloud uses uh, CERN's proton uh, synchrotron to examine the nucleation. So, uh, more interesting news coming here. Atlanta OK's Surveillance Center cameras to watch the city and um, says here, see, you can put spy on city, but they call it surveil. You're being surveilled. You're not being spied on. You're being surveilled. Uh, do you feel better about that? More cozy and comfortable? Big Brother is coming to Atlanta. Oh, Big Brother is already here all throughout America, groping and molesting and invading your privacy. Amid privacy fears, oh, concerns and fears, uh, police across the nation will roll out facing face recognizing iPhone tech this year. We just covered, so... Again, it doesn't really matter whether you fear it or you're concerned about it or you're a privacy advocate. It's going to be passed no matter what because you don't live in a democracy. And that's, uh, that's pretty much how it is. So full speed ahead for facial recognition technology. And then we have hospitals. Uh, doctors take palm prints to ID patients. Palms have uh, taken on a new meaning at some doctor's offices and hospitals. More unique than fingerprints, palm reading are helping keep patients straight and safe. So go in there and check that out. Uh, next up we have this. Google Street View trike uh, rides into Canada. So there you go. How do you like that? You're out there in public and you're having your snapshot taken by a corporation is probably a front for the NSA. So this here, Julio Tang often gets mistaken for an ice cream vendor. And I'm not even going to read this because it just, you know, I just say try to smooth it over and sell to the public like it's a public relations uh, press release or something. So this here, power from the air device captures ambient electromagnetic energy to drive small electronic devices. So first thing we all think of for, about, of course, is Tesla. So as researchers, researchers have discovered a way to capture and harness energy transmitted by uh, such sources as radio and television transmitters, cell phone networks, and satellite communications, all which were what? Also, uh, the technology created by Tesla. I'm not saying he's a great person. He helped, you know, basically create the death ray. Um, where you can just basically fry your fucking your your insides, excuse my language there, uh, but cook your insides, and um, that's all all it will take if they really want to um, just kill a bunch of people. It's pretty scary stuff. And it says here you can go and check that out. Worse than cigarettes, the silent enemy harming your health today. And it says here that the five primary sources of electromagnetic field exposure is uh, basically. Uh, Anything that's electric, such as lamps, electro wiring, uh, outlets, extension cords, electrical appliances, and power outlets. And uh, it says it can affect all the electrical communication in your body, such as brain waves. That's right, magnetic fields. EPA is labeled magnetic fields as, as a class 3 carcinogen. And uh, I, that's right, I, I, my, my buddies actually loan me uh, a meter, um, basically, uh, electromagnetic. Uh, meter and I can I can actually see the power so when your computer's turned off um, they, they measure it in uh, gosses milligosses it's actually way above uh, the accepted level and that's just when it's still plugged in but turned off it's over a hundred and acceptable range is uh, I believe it's zero to th basically zero to three um, power lines whether above or underground that's right I was out there measuring them on the streets and in the alleys and God it's pretty scary stuff. Uh, it says here, metal plumbing. Yes, older metal plumbing can frequently carry a current and wireless communications. That's right. So all your little phones and GPS devices that you carry around. Federal court rules that TSA naked scans are constitutional, even though it was just ruled unconstitutional a week ago. So, But it doesn't really matter. Airport body scanners to nick... Uh, naked image and it says here new software for screening travelers at U.S. airports will do away with naked images addressing a major public concern. Well th like I said before that's why I have a poll on my website. Uh, there's also concerns about being radiated. I'm, I'm not really big on radiated. I'm not big on uh, uh, having my, my uh, travel uh, restricted uh, by a bunch of molesters molesting me uh, because I don't want to be radiated. So you can see my uh, you can see my, quote, I guess, beef with that, right? So 
But uh, I guess I'm supposed to make the slaves happy now, right? It says here, no felony charges for Longmont women in TSA groping case. No felony charges will be filed against Colorado woman who allegedly sexually assaulted a TSA. She did not sexually assault. See, now when they do it to us, the slaves, it's sexually assaulting. Uh, but when a slave actually starts the, and this is the thing, I'll never step on an airplane again in my life unless I have to. But if I do, and they, and I'm not going to get radiated, and they start uh, doing the pat down, I'm going to start patting them down. I'm going to start molesting them. I'm going to start feeling at the guy's balls and feeling them and getting all suave. And uh, if they want to arrest me for that, then go right ahead. You know, let's get stupid here. That's what I say. So it's here, police say no one else involved in death of phone hacking whistleblower who feared someone was out to get him. And uh, it says here, Sean Hoare found dead at his flat in Wat Waitford, uh, Hertfordshire. And uh, you can go in there and check that out. And, of course, they're going to rule it as a suicide. Reddit uh, co-founder charged for downloading millions of academic articles that were, what, free to the public, I believe. If not free, they were public domain. Government moves to toughen privacy laws. Says here, federal government's move to strengthen privacy laws, paving the way uh, for Australians to sue media organizations for any breaches. DHS plans to spend $300 million on troubled radiation detectors. And uh, this is kind of funny because I, I was just thinking about this before this article came out about these radio uh, being all throughout the United States along highways, these little radiation detectors. It says here, Medvedev okays law warning of abortion health risk, then healthy body backs free birth control for women. U.S. Medical Advisory Group recommended providing uh, women free birth control and other preventative health services under the nation's health care overhaul. Ohio Governor John Keshes signs late-term abortion bill. Ohio Governor signed into law on Wednesday a ban on late-term abortions, the latest of several anti-abortion. See, anti-abortion. Some people call it pro-life. It just depends on the slant of uh, the people like Reuters. I think it's below, uh, uh, owned by Rothschild. Obama backs repeal of so-called Defense Marriage Act. President or Bear Sotoro, dictator, Fuhrer, whatever, is in favor of repealing the defense of Marriage Act DOMA, his press secretary announced at a briefing with reporters on Tuesday. I can tell you the president has long called for legislative repeal of the so-called Defense of Marriage Act, which continues to have a real impact on the lives of real people, our families, friends, and neighbors. So we're moving on here. And, you know, and that's the thing. It's all about money. It really is. And I hope the people that are, uh, that are bitching about it are, uh, are, uh, are aware of that, right? I mean, because you, you want to be, if you're not for it, you should be not for it because uh, because it's all about money. That's what it is. It's about using the state and that to, uh, to basically, you know, two guys may not even be gay and they'll get together and all of a sudden they're getting paid to just live with each other as roommates. So, But uh, there's a lot of people in the faith-based community um, that would be against that but not because they feel as if, uh, uh, you know, uh, homosexuality on a large mass scale, such as it is now, is morally uh, wrong, but because uh, financially it, uh, you know, it uh, offends them. The De defect in sperm cloaking protein may explain puzzling male infertility. Also, it can also be uh, something called eugenics. Deadly new disease linked to recent crop failures and animal miscarriages caused by genetically modified crops and pesticides. Health charity says 4 in 10 people will get cancer. Again, eugenics. It says here, rise in men suffering from eating disorders, and that's because they want to fit in those tight-ass pants. I'm sorry, don't be offended, but I guess you can if you want to be. Obesity rates keep rising in the U.S., uh, says report, and it must be women, I guess. If it's not men, nudge not enough to change lifestyle. So it's pure. So what? Uh, basically, government is more prepared to use legislation, so that's because they care about you. Man pleads with court for right to end his partner's life, so you got to go to the state in order to uh, to allow your uh, loved ones to die. So it's here like that woman that took her son off the medication because he wanted to, and he said it was making him sicker. Uh, is this what they mean by the sexualization of teenagers? Uh, Taylor Momsen whips out her young fans into a frenzy with lewd acts, and it basically looks like a bachelorette party on stage. It says here Lady Gaga gets honorary citizenship of uh, Sydney, and uh, this is for her support for uh, the gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender uh, community. All non-Africans are part... Uh, Neanderthal genetics confirmed and the UN Security Council considers climate change uh, peacekeeping forces or, quote, green helmets. God, that sounds fun, doesn't it? UN Shipping Agency adopts new rules 
on emissions. So now they're starting to regulate uh, the emissions. It says here, heat dome traps much of the U.S. in a pressure cooker. This is what I talked about, guys, about heating up the ionosphere. It feels like you're in a microwave. That's because you are. Heat waves sets records in Canada, then fall close to Chicago beaches as city bakes, and a man gets arrested because he didn't want to comply. So they arrested him because they care about him. Thank you.